So hello friend this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nuts video series on C++ multi threading and this question is what is over subscription in C++ I mean not C++ but generally in multi threading so we'll directly start talking about that we know that we have a CPU and in general you know that okay if your program is there like program this is your program right now the general rule of thumb is like how many cores you have in CPU let's say you have four cores four physical cores or four logical cores so four cores okay so one two three and four now in your program if you keep four threads people say that okay this is going to work optimally because each and every thread can be placed in separate cores so like this one is like maybe one two three and four so similarly one two and three and four cores will have these threads and why it is good idea to have something like this because let's say if there is one five fifth thread and you have only four cores so there is always one thread in a waiting state and someone will always have to push either this guy or this guy scheduler will decide that and they'll have to push out this maybe or this and then give the time to this remaining thread i mean which is not being run at a moment all these things happen so fast you cannot see that but this is how it is going to work so this is the reason always considering same number of threads is very good idea for parallel processing so i mean same number of processors and same number of threads so like if your processors can support eight threads like it it has eight cores then you can go for eight threads no problem so number of processors is directly proportional to number of threads this is the assumption okay this is best practice but we are talking about over subscription here so what is this over subscription is this guy only you willingly increase the number of threads so even if you know that increasing this might decrease the performance but you still do that because you know either of these threads at a moment is a IO thread or a blocker thread. So IO thread meaning let's suppose there are four threads and most of the time when you analyze your system run from start to end, you analyze this and let's suppose this is your zero and this is your 100% done, then about maybe 80 to 90% of the time you see that either of the one thread or two thread are blocked for some reason. And if they are blocked, processor is not doing anything. I'm so sorry. So if processor is not doing anything, then it is always good idea to have one extra thread or true extra thread so that processor is still occupied when one thread is in blocked state. So this is over subscription in multi-threading. But you cannot go crazy like uh, you cannot just create keep on uh, increasing the number of threads. You know that, right? Like first rule is still holding true. The number of processors you have, you should go for that many threads for your application. So at least your application is not switching threads between different processors. But you can always go for like maybe more number of threads. Like if you have four cores and you can go for eight if most of the time you see that okay 70 80 percent of the time out of eight threads almost four are in blocking state so you are not utilizing the potential of your processor in order to utilize that potential you would like to increase the number of threads if it makes sense because sometimes just throwing the threads on the application won't make any sense so if it is making sense then you should definitely go for that so i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did don't forget to hit the like button and if you want to see more videos like this consider subscribing i'll see you in the next videos bye bye take care